In this problem, we're told that the point negative 12 comma negative 5 lies on the terminal side of an angle which we're calling theta. And the question is to find the six trig function values for theta. Let's go ahead and work it out. Solution. So this is our x and this is our y. If we like, we can give a, a quick sketch of the angle. So negative 12 might be here and then negative 5 might be here. And so maybe this is the terminal side. It's a rough picture. And then here's our angle theta. So our goal is to find the six trig function values for this angle here. Here's negative 12 and here's negative 5. And you can draw like a little triangle here if you wanted to. Okay, so the first step in this problem is to find the value of r. So r is given by the formula the square root of x squared plus y squared. So in this case, x is negative 12. So this will be negative 12 squared plus negative 5, and then that is also squared. This is equal to the square root of, so negative 12 squared is 144, and negative 5 squared is 25. So when we add these, we get the square root of 169, and that's equal to 13. So we know that r is equal to 13. Okay, now we can go ahead and find the answers. So let's start with cosine or sine. Sine of theta is given by the formula y over r. So in this problem, y was negative 5. So we just get negative 5 over r, which is 13. Boom. Let's go ahead and jump to the reciprocal of sine. That would be cosecant of theta. It's the one that starts with the other letter. That's how I memorize it. So all you have to do for the reciprocal cosecant is just flip your answer for sine. So it'll be negative 13 over 5. And there's our negative. The cosine of theta is given by the formula x over r. Just remember, cosine has the x, sine has the y. And x here, we said, was negative 12. This will be negative 12 over 13. And the reciprocal of cosine is, again, the one that starts with the other letter. So that will be secant of theta. And so to find it, you just flip, flip it. So you get negative 13 over 12. And that would be the answer there. The last one would be the tangent of theta. And that's given by the formula y over x. So in this case, y is negative 5, and x is negative 12. So this will actually become positive 5 over 12. The reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. So basically, you just flip the answer here, so we get 12 over 5. And those would be the six trig function values for theta.